Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for uh, convening this morning's oversight hearing to review the status of the Department of Homeland Security's consolidation project in Washington, D.C. Our focus is on the relocation of the U.S. Coast Guard to a new headquarters facility that is currently under construction at, at this particular site. The Coast Guard, among its diverse missions, functions as, as the lead federal maritime law enforcement agency responsible for domestic maritime security. As such, service is engaged in several activities vital to homeland security, including port, waterway and coastal security operations, vessel and cargo inspection, and illegal migrant and drug interdiction. Through these, through these activities and more, the service ensures our coastal resources and infrastructure are protected, that our ocean, Great Lakes, and inland waterway commerce remain safe and stable, and that our maritime industries continue to provide jobs and economic opportunity. With the passage of the Homeland Security Act of 2002, the Coast Guard was transferred from the Department of Transportation to become part of the new Department of Homeland Security. Notwithstanding the normal growing pains that are to be expected with any significant government reorganization, that move has provided more or less mutual benefits to the Coast Guard and DHS. The Congress and the Bush administration in 07 began the joint process of designing and building a consolidated DHS headquarters facility to better leverage the capabilities of this new, newly created department and to promote mission integration and reduce duplication. These objectives remain as relevant today as they were in 2007. Located at the 330-acre St. Elizabeth's campus across the Anacostia River from the capital in, in southeast Washington, when construction concludes in 2016, the new DHS, DHS campus will provide 4.5 million square feet of office space for approximately 14,000 employees and service members. I might also add this project, which is providing hundreds of high-paying jobs, has been delivered on time and within budget, no small accomplishment. While there are some critics expressing concern about the costs associated with the Coast Guard's relocation to this new facility, something that the service fully supports and which the GSA insists remain on schedule, the reality is that these costs have also always been known and accounted for. More, moreover, DHS, GSA, and the Coast Guard are presently developing an equitable cost-sharing strategy to ensure the Coast Guard's operational capabilities are not diminished. On this point, I agree entirely with Chairman Lobiondo. The Coast Guard should not have to pay more than its fair share when it relocates to its new facility at St. Elizabeth's. And I urge the agencies to finalize a cost-sharing arrangement as soon as possible to ease any of our concerns. Another issue looming is that we may lose many of the cost savings and other benefits that have been realized thus far unless Congress itself renews its commitment to fund construction at St. Elizabeth's. Homeland Security is simply too important for the Congress to allow this project to drift off course to an uncertain future. No one's questioned the need to complete the consolidation. For that matter, no one has seriously, no one has seriously proposed its termination. Yet, remarkably, the House Appropriations Bills do not fund this project, even though the end result will mean significantly higher costs, scheduled delays, higher unemployment, and worst of all, a DHS that is less efficient, less coordinated, and less effective than it could be if this project was successfully completed. Hope everyone wants to maximize the value of our uh, $1.4 billion investment, and it will require a small additional investment to achieve it. Unfortunately, that investment to date will be nearly worthless unless we finish it. Again, I share the Chairman's concern for potential impacts to the Coast Guard's operations budget as a result of the services, uh, as a result of the services relocation to St. Elizabeth's. But we should not lose focus on the fact that it is Congress that controls whether or not this consolidation project is completed on schedule and within budget. So to the extent that we can work together to keep this larger project on track for timely completion, we will also attain our mutual goal of, ins of ensuring a more effective U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that completes my opening statement. I also have a unanimous consent request. I ask unanimous consent that pursuant to Rule 3E of the Committee Rules that Congresswoman Norton be allowed to participate in today's hearing. Without objection, so ordered.